Well, 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 guys, I'm back one more time. I'm your gracious host, Drama, 1980 Helen from Columbia, South Carolina. My motto is, I don't make believe, I make believers. Family, I hope you're having a good day today. And if that's not the case, ask yourself why. Because after all, happiness is an inside job. Did you hear me? Happiness is an inside job. And it will always be an internal affair. But guys, we back today again with my man, King Flex. I'm not going to say anything. But this is going to be a born brother right here, all right? See, these folks um, who are non-FBA, the reason why they are useful to the white supremacists usually when they have some level of credibility, when they can come among us and be critical as they're performing for white people. They like to stand among us and say, well, yeah, we need to get it together. We black folks ain't worth nothing. We black folks are so lazy. We black folks need to stop begging. We in. And if they're allowed to stand there and claim to be a part of us, that gives them a certain level of legitimacy with white people because that's who they're trying to impress. They're trying to impress white people. So the fact that they can get among us to lower the collective esteem by spewing all of these anti-black talking points among us as they get a couple of crumbs from the white supremacists. That's the thing that makes them valuable. You dig? So that white people can say, hey, look, I'm not racist. That black guy over there who's a spokesperson for black society, he said the same thing I said. He said that the blacks are lazy. And he's somebody who's somewhat of a black leader. Now, when we call these tethers out and these tethers are ousted and we say, hey, Myron Gaines and Sneeko and these people, they're not us. They're not from our lineage. Therefore, they're not representatives of our culture. These people are outsiders. They do not represent us whatsoever. Do you know the delineation makes the Myron Gaines of the world completely damn useless? They are useless as hell to the white supremacists because since they are outsiders, the white supremacists can't use them as shields. You can't use them as a shield to say, hey, well, Myron Gaines said that black people are lazy, but Myron Gaines is not respected and he's not a part of foundation of black American culture. He's an outsider like you. So you are two outsiders spewing anti-black racism. So he's not going to be your cover. You're basically co-signing another person who's anti-foundational black American. So you're just doubling down on your white supremacy by doing that. You see, that's why they they kick Myron out of spaces and call him the N-word. He's useless to them. You see, when we delineate, we neutralize a lot of threats across the board. A lot of folks can't be used among us. Notice the Myron gangs, they get ousted by the white supremacists. Look how Candace Owens how they've been ousting her out of white supremacist circles. That's why she's been trying to kind of snooze her way up in black circles, trying to act like, you know, I just want what's best for black people. Get your crooked little wig on somewhere. No, you don't. You've been performing for white people. You're not saying anything that you thought was going to be beneficial to us. You are doing things to secure a bag for yourself. You're not going to come around us trying to act like you were the spook who sat by the door. We're not letting them run that game on us. You dig? Delineation. We should have been delineating a long time ago. Claude Anderson was trying to tell us. And people try to shame us for delineating, talking about it's divisive. No. We have a lineage that other people don't have. They have a lineage we don't have. We're going to acknowledge and respect and recognize our lineage. There you have it. I couldn't put it better myself. Now, I'm going to tackle a few things that Tariq brought to my attention. So I'm going to bring them to y'all attention and just highlight it, all right, if you will. He said that the tethers, such as Myron Gaines, Candace Owens, Sneeko, etc., these people are used to spew their anti-black talking points, the anti-FBAs, if you will. And that's 100% facts. But you've seen they all came down, crashing down and burned. See, you can't rub up against the truth. Oh, God, I'm about to talk to somebody. Let me fix my microphone. Did you hear me? I said, you can't rub up against the truth. 
Because the truth just is something about the truth. Anybody that go against the truth, they going to fall in defeat. Myron Gaines have to be one of the dumbest podcasters that I have ever seen dust for. He probably get the biggest L, I think. This for he had the shortest run. <laughs> he got on him spewing all that gibber jabberish and fresh shot right there and let him crash the ship. I would have got off the ship, or either I would have stopped him. Oh, but I'm just a dumb FBA. Remember, Candace Owens. She running her mouth. She was serving as a mouthpiece for the establishment. As long as she was just downing FBAs and black people. Oh. Everything was all hunky dory until she said the wrong thing. Cause she thought, huh? Did you hear me? She thought she was in cahoots with the establishment. No, you was just a mouthpiece. They was just using. And you knew that because you said out your own mouth that as long as you talked about black people, you was fine. See, but you try to bite the hand that feeds you. We all see how that turned out. And to be honest with you, I think things going to get worse for you. But that's neither here or there. I don't care because I don't have no dog in the fight. But I'm just using you for content in this regard. These tell the Sneeko the same thing. Don't they learn? And people talking about, well, you just scared, scared of what? I talk about white supremacy. I don't separate no Jewish people from no Anglos and all that. I don't do that because they all participated willingly. I don't care who bought no ships. I don't care who uh, had the farms. I don't care who was doing whatever. Y'all all played a part. So I'm looking at you as one big monolith. Don't try to bring no religion to me. Okay. Don't bring no religion to me because the religion is white supremacy. Okay. That is the religion. And if you want to go take some DNA tests, um, certain people DNA tests will lead you back to Poland and different places. So converts, okay? But we're not going to go too far on that because that really don't matter. Okay? The bow for a declaration. But uh, we're going to concentrate up on these losing tethers. All they do is lose. <laughs> Myron Gaines said the white men are the most oppressed people on the planet. I didn't see it, guys. Matter of fact, I'm going to put together something, guys. And I'm going to show y'all clips of some of the most egregious things this dummy have ever said. Guys, some of y'all going to be blown away. Some of y'all going to be blown away because this dude is on another level. And he go in these rooms and them white guys be kicking him out, calling him the N-word. Just, and he's still trying to be a part of something. But yet his IQ higher than ours now. Remember that he has the high IQ. We the dumbest. We drooling out the side of the mouth. Okay. We the fools. We mentally challenged. This dude went from the top to the bottom so fast. Like Satan got kicked out of heaven. Like lightning. <laughs> all that dirt he was doing. All that foolishness he was spewing. And what good did it profit him? And now... He just double and die. Get kicked off Twitch. Get kicked off Facebook. Get kicked off Instagram. Get kicked off YouTube. And yet, he haven't learned how to code his language. You can say what you need to say, but just code your language. People know what you're talking about. You don't have to come out and say everything. God, dummy. Oh, no, no, no. But we the fools. He used to talk trash about FBAs. FBAs are so stupid. They so dumb. They ghetto. They baby mamas. They IQ are low. They mentally challenged. They thugs. All this stuff that he had to say. But yet, whenever he go back to his homeland, it looked like a junkyard. Matter of fact, a junkyard is more cleaner. That's an open ass slum over there in the Sudan parts of it. But yet, he want to project on to you. Well, I'm going to say this and then, guys, I have to go. I have to be moving along. Well, I'm glad that Sneeko, Candace Owens, and Myrins, and their it, all of them have gotten their wake-up call. Tiss, tiss, tiss. 
What a tangle weave we wear when we try to deceive. You thought that you was part of the team, huh? See, when everybody see you, you no longer become valuable in their eyes because you can't operate under the cover of darkness. No pun intended. You can't operate and cloaked and dagger. You can't do that no more because everybody pointing you out. Look at them. The light is shining on you. Therefore, that makes you invalid. You think them folks take you serious? You better watch out because they might try to P. Diddy you too. Because they too many allegations against you. Nah. Oh, ain't nobody talking about that. Talking about that he done took stuff and he done forced himself on stuff. All right. I ain't saying nothing. It does my heart great pleasure to see you put in your place. Because you know what you was doing was wrong, but yet you willingly participated. So, okay. So when something happened to you, nobody don't say anything. And Candace Owens trying to creep back. No, no, no. Stay your rump right over there where you at. And whenever that you participate with the open enemy, well, that's fine. But just lie in your bed that you made. That's all I'm saying. Let me say that one time. Just lie in the bed that you made for yourself. I don't care what's in the bed. Lie in it because you made it, okay? I don't feel a way about anything. They can come on tomorrow and say, well, Candace always lost everything. I'm saying, well, that's unfortunate. I'll just be praying for her. Myron Gaines lost everything. I'll be like, that's unfortunate. I'll be praying for her. Yeah. My prayer would be, well, Lord, the very seeds that they sowed multiply. That would be my prayer because y'all have committed some of the most vile acts I have ever seen. And you thought that was going to get you somewhere. Yeah, it did get you somewhere. Demonetize. <laughs> but guys, tell me what y'all think. Tell us. They trying to get rid of y'all too. We try to tell y'all. Oh, but y'all know more than what we know. Okay. All right. We don't need no FBAs. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We are delineating. Rightfully so. And I'm very appreciative of the movement. Yes, 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 I am. Now, I do understand that uh, we African. We have African roots, but they've been an ethnogenesis. That's why you don't call Jamaicans Africans. That's why you don't call uh, people that live in South America just Africans. No, no, no. You call them by their name. They Jamaicans. They Haitians. They Ghanaians. But us, African American, no, 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 no. We foundation of Black Americans, okay? We name ourselves. Don't be getting mad. Well, that's not in the dictionary. It don't have to be in the dictionary. We say that's what our names are, okay? If you don't like that, you don't have to like it. Just move out the way, okay? That's all you have to do. We ain't asking you for nothing. We ain't asking you for no support. We ain't asking you for no money. We ain't asking you for no anything. You move out the way. If you don't want to move, we're going to move you out the way. And I'm going to leave that open-ended. You can interpret it any way you want to interpret. It's ambiguous. But guys, tell me what y'all think, guys. Put it in the comment section because I would like to know y'all opinions, all right? And until next time, peace. And remember, there is more.